Plasmodium cordis is a uh, type of sudden cardiac death that occurs when a ball or some other heart object strikes the chest directly over the heart. This results in instantaneous sudden death uh, caused by ventricular fibrillation. And it's not a Pedro Martinez fastball, it's a normal ball being thrown by another 12-year-old that just happens to hit uh, directly over the heart in the wrong time. It's a typically an adolescent uh, phenomenon. Uh, two, the chest wall has to be not completely developed, and that's why 19, 20-year-olds don't get it. Uh, another human characteristic is male. It's overwhelmingly male. 98% of the uh, victims in our database are male. Six, the ball has to be appropriately hard. Softer balls rarely cause commodial cordis. Uh, the ball has to be thrown at the right velocity, and that's not too fast and not too slow. And in our model, 40 miles an hour is the most lethal uh, baseball. It must not be a glancing blow, but a direct perpendicular blow to the chest. And perhaps one of the most important variables is actually timing relative to the cardiac cycle. There's only a very narrow window of vulnerability in the cardiac cycle, um, and if you're hit outside of that window, you won't get commodial cortis. The treatment for Chest wall induced sudden death is the same as the treatment for sudden death that occurs in other situations. And that's basic CPR, resuscitation, and defibrillation. Yeah, I think this is a very important for all parents and all individuals is what do you do when a person collapses in front of you? The first thing you establish is are they unconscious? And if they're unconscious, they've had a cardiac arrest. Anyone that's had a cardiac arrest needs CPR. The key is recognition, beginning CPR, and calling for help. Commodio cortis is, is um, highest in baseball. Probably about two-thirds of uh, commodio cortis events occur with baseball. Not just organized sports, but playing in the backyard, playing in the front yard. There are probably three things that are important in preventing commodio cortis. Let's start with safety balls, since we have the most data for that. We know that the hardness of the ball directly relates to the risk of commodial cortis. Softer balls rarely cause commodial cortis, hard baseballs do. Chest ball protection has not been as robust in preventing commodial cortis. Indeed, in the human data, about a third of the people involved uh, that have had a commodial event in um, an organized sport were wearing a chest protector. I think it's important that we do not emphasize blocking balls with the chest. This is true both in baseball and lacrosse and hockey. I think that the uh, both rules changes and the uh, coaching techniques should be to block it with your hands, uh, not with your body, and prevent yourself from getting hit. We developed a commodio cortis model at uh, Tufts University back in 1996, 97 uh, now, so it's been uh, very active here in 14 years. Uh, we've used this experimental model to look at the variables that are associated with commodio cortis, uh, to look at means of prevention of commodio cortis, and to look at um, means of resuscitation, treatment of commodio cortis. And so recognition that sudden death does occur in kids, importantly, immediate treatment with CPR, and with calling 911 and getting an AED there will save lives.